Hello and welcome back to GTA 5. I'm David in Ark and today we are back in the family friendly mod. This is version 3.1 and uh, one of the things that I don't think we've done in the game yet is be a bus driver. So I got into a bus. Basically it was parked um, at the uh, bus station. No one was in it. So I got in. Now what I can do is while you're driving I can hit E to honk the horn and if there's anyone around who would like a ride on the bus they will come running over and get in the bus now it is at night so perhaps that wasn't the smartest thing oh wait we got we got somebody running across <laughs> running across the intersection probably not smart oh there's some people who got in on their own when did that happen i didn't even see that okay so we got a couple more people getting on the bus. Check that out. That is so cool. So I'm pretty sure there are bus stops that are set around the city. I have no idea where they are. And you know what? That's part of what makes the game fun. We're just going to drive around, pretend we're the bus driver, and we'll just make up some stops. By the way, let's see. I don't know. Oh, nope. I was going to say, I don't know if I can get away with it or not, but I, I was supposed to turn there. I know, I know. Uh, by the way, these folks will actually stay in the bus uh, until you honk the horn to let them out. <laughs> so, so they are kind of your captive riders. Now, what's also cool about this... Oh, well, the light's changing. Okay, once I get to a place where I can stop, I can change the uh, viewpoint to first person. Which, I mean, I can do that at any time. So, if we just cycle through here now we are in first person all right we're coming up on a traffic light so we will stop here at the light you can turn around and check it out you can see the people on your bus that is so cool i love it now where are we going to have our next bus stop let's find out i think down maybe uh Maybe two lights down the way there. Is that a light down there? Doesn't look like it. Actually, I guess that's a kind of more of a night light under there. All right, let's go. Yeah, we can do a little role playing in beam in beam NG, in GTA Five. Oops, I'm gonna scooch over a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and let's just. Oops, oh, sorry, didn't mean to. Uh, yep, sorry, sorry. Yeah, oh, sorry. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. We're going to say that since we are here at the business center, oops, we will call this, I guess we'll call this a bus stop. I mean, there's not really one, but we'll pretend. Oh, as a matter of fact, wait, here's a, here's a red, here's a red line that's normally for like the fire lane. We'll just pretend this is the bus stop. So now we just honk the horn again. You hit E. And a lot of the people immediately jump off the bus. But then the animations will cycle through and each person left behind will get up one by one until everybody is off the bus. And then we can get to moving again. Wait, listen. Ow! Mm. I don't have time for this. I mean, yeah, I should be following this, the laws of the land, but we're not. Again, I can change the view if I want. If I want to jump out to the external camera, we can do that. There we go. Let's see. We got, oh, some folks hanging out here you need on the bus. So when I honked, you notice they disappeared. And yes, they did get on the bus. Likewise, as before, if there is anyone who also wants on the bus, they will run up to us. I don't... I don't see anyone running up to us, so we will skedaddle. There we go. We'll get through the light here. There we are. Go down the way a little bit. Oh, we have another red light, of course. Oh, man. I just, I love the stuff that you can do. Now, you could do this technically at, uh, 
Well, I say that. I don't know. I don't know if you can steal a bus when you're not in family-friendly mode. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's a thing or not. It might be a thing. Oh, well, there's the light post. We're fine. It's fine. Not, not a problem. Um, but anyhow, you might be able to do this in regular uh, non-family-friendly mode. I'll, I'll be honest. I just don't know. I've never, I've never actually tried that before. But here we go. We'll stop here. And again, we honk. A couple of people are getting out. Is that everyone? That's everyone out of the bus. Now, it would be cool if some people would get off the bus and other people wouldn't. But from what I can tell, it's kind of an all or nothing thing. So you just have to pretend that everybody's going to that destination, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Your mileage may vary. However, we are going to continue. And we are going to come up around here. Come on. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Family Friendly Mod, I have done multiple videos on this. In fact, there's a playlist, and you can check it out here on the channel. The Family Friendly Mod is so, so cool. And there are lots of settings. <laughs> I love how the bus just grabs people. You, you're coming with me. So we can sit here. Traffic will go by. Oh, here comes somebody running. There we go. There you go. You don't you don't really have to run, ma'am. It, it's fine. I'll, I'll wait for you. But there it is. Ah, oh, so cool. All right, that person's walking. If you see folks walking, they're not interested in riding with you. It's only the people who are running uh, who want to ride with you. And sometimes, even when you start to pull away, you may notice somebody running up to your vehicle. You, that's fine. You can stop and... Oh, wait, there's somebody running there. Oh, no, they were just running across the street. All right, fine. They were just trying to beat the light. I see what you're doing. I really do wish they had uh, actual bus stops, because that would be cool. And, and again, they may. I, I just don't. I've never paid any attention whatsoever to bus stops in the game. Oh, watch out. Uh, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, though, there are lots of different settings for the family-friendly mod. Uh, you can actually, although right now, uh, let's see, and I can demonstrate something for you real quick. If we, All right, if we kick everybody out, you will notice, is that everybody? I think it's everybody. Okay, you'll notice that if we drive along, and I got to go find... Are you coming in? All right, dude. Come on with your bad self. All right. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, but with the default configuration that I've got here, um, in family-friendly mode, uh, there's no ragdolling. Uh, you have no weapons. Um, and by ragdolling, I mean that when you run over people... Uh, you you actually can't run over people. Uh, characters cannot uh, be killed in family friendly mode. And of course, I can't find anybody. Where are people? Where are all the people? That's ridiculous. So one of the other things you can do is if I hit N, I immediately get popped into the driver's seat of the nearest vehicle. Okay, here's a person. So watch, watch what happens when we try to run her over. Nothing. She flies up in the air like she just don't care, and it doesn't matter. So it's very, very cool. Uh, again, there's no weapons. Um, certain places uh, are off limits. Things are closed. Um, like ammunition is closed. Um, you can't go to the seedy places in town. Even the movie theaters. Uh, you can go into the movie theater, but the movie theater does not play anything. Oh, yeah. I know we're going to fail, but that's okay. Oh, no, we completed that one. That's a first for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, So, so cool. So Okay, so here we go. If I come down here to ammunition, um, dude, that's a bit of a problem. 
All right, here we are, right? So here, here's this. If we get out of the car, <laughs> you just wait there for me. I'm demonstrating some stuff. All right. This should be locked. Yeah. And that's because the family-friendly mod locks it. You'll also notice that you do not hear dialogue going on in the background, right? You don't hear any of the people yelling and screaming and all that kind of stuff because that too has been disabled, which is, whoops, uh, which can also be handy for, you know, one, if you're wanting to play around with this for family friendly mode. Now, uh, as far as other things you can do, uh, of course, you can hop in a taxi and you can be a taxi driver. Uh, you can actually be, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can be a helicopter pilot. Well, Worst case scenario, you could be a helicopter pilot like we were a bus driver. You essentially fly around and when you land, and this happens with anything. So, for example, if, I, if, I, if I'm anywhere and I hit E, okay, well now that dude's not getting out. Now, I don't, there may not be people around, but if you hit E and there are people around who want to ride with you, they will run up to your car and they will get in your vehicle. All right, nobody's... Nobody seems to be doing that, so let's... Oh, wait, there he is. Oh, great, we're picking up a police officer. Don't you have duty? Well, I guess not. All right, well, anyway. <laughs> so we picked up a police officer, because why not? If you don't have seats available in your car, they will just stand outside your car, by the way. So why would you want to play family-friendly, or why would you want to install this mod? Because this allows you or your kids or whoever to drive around, play around in GTA without the violence, without the language, without the adult content. You just get to free roam freely, and it is so, so cool. I'll have a link to the mod down in the description uh, you actually get it from GTA 5 Mods, uh, but there is a Google site that is also linked to the mod page, and uh, it's got all of the information, how you install it, what the different settings are, uh, different things you can play around with. Again, like I said, I've, I've made several videos on uh, how this all works, so you can check that out at your leisure. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this kind of a quick little run around. I know it started out as bus driving and then it just turned into me driving <laughs> driving and talking anyhow special thanks to hero of god gamer gall los wilco connie c oh zachary 7220 gamer and the maestro of madness for supporting the channel on patreon and through channel memberships i appreciate that so much as I said before, and as always, I thank you so much for stopping by, checking it out. If you got some other stuff you'd like me to try in family-friendly mode, let me know, and we'll give it a whirl. See what we can do, see what we can't do, just to see what is up. Just leave that down in the comments below. I'm David and Ark. We'll see you next time when we play some GTA 5 family-friendly. Oh, man, giant lightning strike. Have a great day. Unlike our poor dudes. Yahoo! Oh, uh, you know what? You guys might want to get out. We've got ourselves a bit of a problem here. Thanks, Ossifer. Can I just follow you around? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> These dudes are like, how did we even get here? Look, he is so lost, man. Yeah, you have, you have no idea. Well, it was fun while it lasted, gentlemen. I bid you adieu. Da, 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 da